our entrance hymn, Come Praise the Lord. Come praise the Lord, the Almighty, the King of all nations. Tell for this fame, O ye peoples, with loud acclamations. His love is sure, faithful is martial and your steadfast through all generations. At this Mass we shall be praying for all your personal intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, who gather what is scattered and keep together what you have gathered, look kindly on the flock of your Son, that those whom one baptism has consecrated may be joined together by integrity of faith and united in the bond of charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is a season for everything, a time for every occupation under heaven, a time for giving birth, a time for dying, a time for planting, a time for uprooting what has been planted, a time for killing, a time for healing, a time for knocking down, a time for building, a time for tears, a time for laughter, a time for mourning, a time for dancing, a time for throwing stones away, a time for gathering them up, a time for embracing, a time to refrain from embracing, a time for searching, a time for losing, a time for keeping, a time for throwing away, a time for tearing, a time for sowing, a time for keeping silent, a time for speaking, a time for loving, a time for hating, a time for war, a time for peace. What does a man gain for the effort that he takes? I contemplate the task that God gives mankind to labor at. All that he does is apt for its time. 
but though he has permitted man to consider time in its wholeness, man cannot comprehend the work of God from beginning to end. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response is, Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Together. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my savior. My shield, my place of refuge. Response. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Lord, what is man that you care for him? Mortal man that you keep him in mind. Man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a passing shadow. Response. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, enlighten the eyes of your mind, so that we see what hope His call holds for us. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. One day when Jesus was praying alone in the presence of his disciples, he put this question to them, Who do the crowds say I am? And they answered, John the Baptist, others Elijah, and others say one of the ancient prophets come back to life. But you, he said, who do you say I am? And it was Peter who spoke up, the Christ of God, he said. But he gave them strict orders not to tell anything, anything about it. The Son of Man, he said, is destined to suffer grievously, to be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes, and to be put to death, and to be raised up on the third day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I'd like to look how our first reading from Ecclesiastes and our Gospel almost seem to go hand in hand. Because the first reading tells us how there is a time for everything. And I guess based on the time we are in, namely our situation and circumstance, accordingly will be our conclusion who Jesus really is. When everything seems to be going well for us, when we are absolutely successful, when we are happy, when we are joyful, when we are laughing, when life seems to be going great for us, Jesus perhaps may be our best friend at that point of time. Someone who's always been hearing our prayers. Someone who's truly the Christ, the Son of the living God. Someone with whom we really have this great relationship with. But then our first reading also tells us about times when we go through pain, through difficulties, through sufferings, perhaps through bad news, through crisis moments in our lives. And then in those points of time, will Christ still be the Christ, the Son of the living God? Or will our whole image of Jesus change because of the circumstance and situation 
we find ourselves in. If you see the Jews in Jesus' time, they were not really ready to accept Jesus as the Messiah because they were looking for more of a political figure to come and overthrow the Roman rule. And therefore there was a mixed reaction in the crowd. There was this constant opposition to Jesus from the scribes and the Pharisees. There was this large section of Jews that misunderstood who Jesus was. There was some section of the Jews who considered him to be only a carpenter's son and therefore what good can come from Nazareth. There were others who even thought he was the devil or the prince of devils. And there were a few who understood who Jesus was, who kept following him because his teaching, his preaching had a tremendous impact on them. Each one of us has those opportunities in life, my dear brothers and sisters, to proclaim boldly that Jesus is indeed the one true promised Savior of the world. Each of us is constantly being invited by the Lord to enter into that deep personal and intimate relationship with Him. Each one of us is being invited to have a faith that will be unshakable, no matter what the circumstance or situation we find ourselves in. And may our response to who Jesus really is be always constant. Indeed, the Christ, the Son of the living God. And offer to him in bread we bring you, Lord. and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the reason of your glorious name for our good and for this holy church. O Lord, who gave for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him you brought us to the knowledge of your truth, so that by the bond of one faith and one baptism, we might become his body. Through him you poured out your Holy Spirit among all the nations, so that in a wondrous manner he might prompt and engender unity in the diversity of your gifts, dwelling within your adopted children and filling and ruling the whole church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim...
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation Giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spreads throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace
Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. A communion him in his time. 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 As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for Relief from the Coronavirus Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. 
we come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak for a healing of those affected for the victims and their families we pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found we pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people we make this prayer through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit and may the peace and blessing of almighty god the father the son and the holy spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever and ever amen go and announce the gospel of the lord thanks, thanks be, be to god. god i recessed in him he is lord Yeah.